just as in the linear case, equilibrium points determine an important part of the behavior of our system. But what were these points exactly and how do you determine them? That is what you will see in this video in which we will also discuss a few explicit examples. So let's take a small system, dx1 dt equals f1 and dx2 dt equals x2. For an equilibrium point, we want uh, the equilibrium point to be constant, so we are looking for points where x1 and x2 are both constant, so that means that their time derivatives have to be zero, so both right hand sides need to be zero, so in equilibrium points both f1 and f2 have to be zero. That is what an equilibrium point is. If you are there, you stay there. So how can we find them? Well, let's do two examples. First example, so dx1 dt equals x1 minus 1 half x1 times x2 and dx2 x dt equals minus 0.75 x2 plus 0.25 x1 times x2. So this may uh, remind you of the system with the uh, zebras and the lions we saw before. Let's take a look at equilibrium points. Well, if f1, this one has to be zero, then we have two options. Either x1 is zero, and if x1 is not zero, we can divide by x1, and we find 1 minus 1.5 x2 equals zero, or x2 equals 2. So we have two options, either x1 is zero, or x2 is 2. Let's start out with the x1 equals 0 option. Then we also need f2 to be 0, so we have both x1 equals 0 and f2 has to be 0. Well, if f2 has to be 0 and x1 is 0, this term drops out, so we are only left with uh, 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 minus 0.75 x2 equals 0, so x2 has to be 0 as well, so our equilibrium point is 0, 0 which is not a very nice point to be in if you think about our uh, lions and zebras. Let's see whether we have more equilibrium points. Well, we had x2 equals 2, that was the other option. Uh, and then we also need f2 to be equal to 0, but now we have x2 equals 2, so we plug it in over here and over here, so we get minus 1.5 plus half x1 equals 0, and we solve and find x1 equals 3, so we find a second equilibrium point, 3,2, which is of course a nicer point to be in for our lions and zebras. Then let's take a look at a second example, which is a bit more complicated. Again, first we set f1 to 0, then we can have either x1 equals 0, or this expression over here can be equal to 0. So either x1 is 0 or x1 equals 3x minus 2. So those are the two options we have. Well, let's start with x1 equals 0. Well, if x1 equals 0 and f2 also is 0, then this part is already 0. So we're left with either x2 equals 0 or x2 equals 2. So in that case, we find 0 for x1 and 2 for x2 and 0 for x1 again and 2 for x2. So there we go. That's the first option. Now let's take the second option, which is a bit more complicated. So second option, x1 equals 3 times x2 minus 2. Now we can plug this in into our f2 here, expression for x1, in order to obtain an equation for x2. So we get x2, here the 3x2 minus 2, and x2 minus 2 just stays where it is. And then we solve and we see that we can either have x2 equals 0, or this thing equals 0, which gives us 4x2 minus 4, so x2 equals 1. So what do we then have as our equilibrium points? Well, if x2 equals 0, then x1 equals minus 2. So we find the equilibrium point minus 2, 0. And if x2 equals 1, we find the uh, x1 again uh, um, by computing 3 minus 2 now equals 1. One, so we find our second equilibrium point, 1, 1. So this is how you find your equilibrium points. All the right hand sides have to be equal to zero. And be careful uh, because you can end up with many, many cases. So be careful that you treat all cases one by one 